Welcome to this lesson number six on multi-track editing. In this lesson, we're going to have a look at how we can do further edits while we have something that's a bit more complex. So we have three tracks in this case, but you could have, in theory, as many tracks as you like. Now, what we want to do is we want to cut something out of this, but we've already got everything aligned just the way that we want it. Now the problem is if I just select something now, go up and say cut, I've cut out the piece that I wanted to cut out, but at the same time my sync has been ruined. Now suddenly this doesn't align over here and this doesn't align over there and we have all kinds of problems. So I have to undo that and figure out a different way of doing that. Now there's a number of different ways that we can do that. We can either cut on all tracks or we can move everything after a certain point. Let's start off by trying to cut something on all tracks. And music mixes the layered beats popular with his childhood favorites, Public Enemy, Public Enemy, with guitars, drums, keyboards, marches, or with the, with the, with the. So we want to cut out Public Enemy. So we've now made an in and an out marker. This is what we want to cut out. Now again, if I just cut out now, this works fine. But as soon as we look at the entire mix, we can see that we've messed up our sync. So that's not going to work. So instead, we're going to select all tracks. If I cut now and zoom out, we can see that we've still got our sync intact. Childhood favorites with guitars, drums, keyboards, even sitars. I think there's a pretty big... So if you want to cut something and you have a mix like this, then use all tracks like this. You can also, once you've selected something like that, you can not just hold command and choose how many tracks that you want to have as part of your edit. Now that might be useful for some things. But usually, if you do have a mix, then do edit on all tracks. Now something else that you might encounter is that you want to rearrange something. Now in this case, I have some narration here and some interview here. I have some narration here and an interview here. But I want to rearrange it. I want this one to come first and then followed by this one, including the music. If I hold down Alt and Command on an Apple or Alt and Control on Windows and press this region here, what will happen is it will select this one and everything following. Now what I can do is just move this about. So I leave some room here to put in the this bit over here that I wanted to put in. If I press escape, I remove all the selections. Now I go to this one here. This is the section that I wanted to put in over here. So now I select that. I can just drag that over here, like so. That seems to fit nicely. Press escape, then all the selections go away. Hold Alt Command or Alt Control and press on this region here and move it into place. So now it sounds like this instead. To the uh, final video. Oh, by the way, that's not actually where I wanted it to go. So I can just, just select this again. Now I've selected the regions here, as I did before with Alt, Command, and just pressing this region or Alt Control on Windows. Now, if I press Shift Command left arrow, it's going to jump to the next available uh, marker. It could be an in and out marker, or it could be the playhead. So now it's jumped to this playhead. Another nice trick is to know is if I hold just Command down now and press the left arrow, I can actually toggle this into place. So I can see there was the, a breath right before he says something. And I actually wanted him to start speaking right here. So let's see how that sounds. We put into the uh, final video. Careful. That's it. Don't hurt him with the needle. 
Ackerman says the band's music mixes the layered beats popular with his childhood favorites. And that sounds just the way I wanted it to sound. If we didn't want to use this trick here, by moving stuff like that, what we can do is we can insert some silence. Now, what we first need to do when inserting silence is create the area that we want to insert. So now I've just made a selection on all tracks. So basically what I'm saying right now is from this point here, we want to insert this amount of silence. Okay, so I now press Command, right arrow, or on a Windows machine, Control. And it's now inserted this amount of silence. If I press Command, right arrow again, it will do the same thing. And left arrow, it will subtract that amount of silence. So more silence, less silence. Using insert silence can be very powerful. I can use it in all kinds of situations. I could, maybe I wanted to move I don't know why I would want to do this, but move this bit down here a little bit. I could just create a little bit of silence, insert silence like so. Be creative with it. It's a really useful tool. In conclusion, when you want to edit on multiple tracks, remember to use all tracks. If you want to move things around, use Alt Command and press your region. This way you can quickly select things and move them around like so.